What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 72 update. This week they've added several types of explosive and incendiary ammo. We've also got another explosive update as they've increased explosive damage, and they also have some changes on how we make ammo and nerfed the requirements for it. We also get some news about Galileo. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 72 Update Explosive Bullets Icarus Week 72 Update New Explosive Bullets and Improved Recipes Craft the new explosive bullets using volatile materials and get 5 times more ammo per ingot with our new and improved recipes. Week 72 is here and brings a revamp of their bullet recipes and an introduction to their explosive bullet. Craftable at level 30 explosive bullets add a new variation for your firearms with the new volatile material source introduced to create the recipe and used across firearms, pistols, and shotgun. They've also added ammo casings to the bullet recipe requirement, giving players five times more bullets per ingot invested. Finally, they've deployed even more elements to their fishing and bestiary features in the upcoming Galileo update, and they draw even closer to its release. Let's jump in and have a read, shall we? So this week we did get a bulb revamp which is awesome guys we've been waiting for this for a very long time they revamped the bulb recipes in lieu of their introduction of explosive bolts and provide more granular and realistic resource investment that decreases the cost per bullet overall this includes a new item ammo casings which can be crafted using iron ingots ammo casings come in stacks of five and cost a single iron ingot to make which changes the flow from one iron ingot per bullet to one iron ingot per five ammo casings, which will make five bullets. For specific recipes, this replaces the use of an ingot to create a single bullet to give ammo casings, giving you five times as many bullets per ingots invested. To balance this out, rifles now take two gunpowder opposed to one to offset the cost reduction in ingots. The only difference is shotgun buckshots which now have the recipe of one ammo casing plus five copper nail plus six gunpowder and one epoxy equals a shotgun buckshot. The old recipe being one copper ingot, six gunpowder, one epoxy, and that equaled a shotgun buckshot. So now you can make ammo casings, and this requires one iron ingot to make five ammo casings. And you can make this in the machining bench. And in tier three, towards the middle, you'll notice the ammo casing. And it's right above the cured leather chest pieces. So the ammo casings are required to be used with the buckshot shell. You see here, you required now ammo casings, copper nail, gunpowder, and epoxy. And of course, with pistol rounds as well, requiring one per pistol round. And same goes with the basic rifle round, which now requires only one casing per bullet, but two gunpowder. We also got explosive bullets this week. Explosive bullets have been added to the ammo pool and can be used across pistols, rifles, and shotguns. Explosive bullets have slightly reduced projectile damage but make up for it for the large explosive damage that is dealt in the radius with a fall off, potentially hitting multiple targets within the radius. And let's take a look at their breakdown below. The pistol explosive round does only 50 projectile damage, but does 200 explosive damage at a 400 radius. Rifle explosive round does 200 projectile damage and 300 explosive damage in a 500 radius. And shotgun explosive round will give you 20 projectile damage, which seems quite low but 50 explosive damage and a 350 radius. So the shotgun does less damage than the pistol? Okay. This recipe is restricted until you're level 30 and then can be crafted in the machining bench. And it requires a new resource, volatile material, and it has its own recipe. Two gunpowder, two oxide, and two spoiled plants can be added on top of a standard bullet to craft the explosive variant. Volatile material can be crafted in the mortar and pestle or chemistry bench, but is only volatile for 10 minutes and must be used in crafting an item such as an explosive bullets within the time frame to keep its potency. They've also updated the frag grenade recipe to account for this new resource. Instead of 10 gum powder, it now uses two volatile substances, a more accurate reflection on a realistic recipe. In addition to explosive damage and the radius of explosives are now completely completely stat driven and is now visible on the grenade and Larkwell explosive arrow. Damage has been adjusted. So the grenade used to do 200 explosive damage at a 1500 radius. It does now 1000 explosive damage 
what is that five times the damage which is a huge upgrade guys from 200 to a thousand and the larkwell ballistic arrow has been increased by a hundred it looks like 100 explosive damage increase but the radius is still 500 they also adjusted grenades of all type to now stack two five which is awesome and they tweaked the blueprints and the blueprints tree for the gun and ammo rearranging orders slightly and adjusting the incinerary round blueprints to no longer be exclusive to rifles but include pistols as well so volatile substance is crafted and learned in tier two tier two all the way over here where the herbalism bench is and the mortar and pestle and right here off the mortar and pestle you'll see at the end volatile substance a highly explosive substance made from locally made materials native to Icarus, requiring gunpowder, oxide, and spoiled plants to craft. And this will open up several explosive variants of ammo that you can make in the game. We're going to show you that now. In Tier 3, you may have seen it earlier, we have the new incinerary ammo, and it differs per recipe. And you can make incinerary ammo for pistol and rifle now. And explosive ammo, which comes with all three different ammo types. So to make it, we're going to just use the mortar and pestle here, which is probably what most people have. And you have the volatile substance here. You could craft it. Once you craft it, though, be aware that it does take 10 minutes before it becomes what they call inert volatile substance and if you let it expire it becomes this inert volatile substance it says formerly highly explosive substance made from locally found materials native to Icarus. so once it expires it pretty much becomes useless it says this is rather useless <laughs> so you just drop it or destroy it whatever you want to do so we're going to come over to the machining bench and show you the new recipes we have the new explosive shotgun shell which requires one buckshot and a volatile substance to craft does 350 explosive damage plus 50 explosive damage and of course breaks on impact we also have the incendiary rifle round which requires one rifle round and gunpowder looks like the rifle round has a new texture as well and an explosive rifle round which requires a rifle round and volatile substance 500 explosive damage on that plus 300 explosive damage also got the explosive pistol round which is the pistol round and volatile substance and the incinerary pistol round which is a pistol and gunpowder so it wouldn't be proper if we didn't show you guys all these new bullets in action so first up we have the pistol bullets so let's try out the new incinerary and explosive try incinerary first and we're just going to aim at this target Not much of a difference there. Doing about normal damage. And as you can see, if you hit something with it, it'll light it on fire. Poor baby love blue. For science. And next up we have the explosive pistol ammo. Wow. And it looks like it may actually still be hitting this other target over here. That's crazy. That's quite an explosive area of effect. So next up is the shotgun, and we're going to just show a little bit of the buckshot and then shoot the explosive version. Alrighty, and now we're loading up the explosive variant of the shotgun bullet now. Wow. That's pretty good. And you can even see it leaves little black marks. And if you get too close, wow, you could take a ton of damage. Careful with your explosive shots, guys. You can get some collateral damage from those.
And lastly, we have the new rifle ammos. And we have the incendiary rifle round here. We'll try it out first. Try to hit the wooden structure there. Looks like it caught it straight on fire <laughs> since we did that. We got another little baby buffalo here. We're just going to go ahead and execute it with it. And as you can see, it just kind of catches on fire like the pistol did. And lastly, we have the explosive rifle rounds. And these are going to probably rip stuff to pieces. But guys, these are explosive ones. As you can see, they do a ton of damage, it looks like. Way more than the regular ones. And we also wanted to add grenades. So we're going to throw two grenades here. Oh! Oh! That did a lot of damage. We'll throw it back this way. Those are insane now. Pretty good, guys. Pretty good upgrades. I'll give you that. That is actually a really nice grenade. That is what a grenade really should be. So, yeah. So after those two tiny nuclear explosions, we have Galileo progress. And the Galileo is drawing even closer. This week's work, they are adding more elements as far as like fishing, more fishing items and species, giving players even more to catch and record and display. And they also iterating the fishing mini game mechanic and revisiting the spawn maps to polish up the experience. The bestiary has also received a UX pass and they've iterated the UI while adding an extra feature for players. And they've been testing their Steam trading cards in the Steam dev environment alongside setting up the achievements for localization. And guys, we have a picture we've never seen before and the change log. So in the new content section this week, up in grenade damage, no sh <laughs> And the explosive damage does a radial event. Of course, added the new stat for explosive damage radius. And they go through adding all the ammos. They added partial inflammation of armor piercing pistol and rifle rounds i didn't see those so as far as the implementation of the armor piercing pistol and rifle rounds i haven't actually seen it in game so maybe it's something that's they're working on in the background but they added i'm not sure about this guys i did search all throughout my talents and all throughout the blueprints and i didn't see anything and of course they go through and mention how your talents and whatnot can modify how much damage grenades and explosives do. And also, certain creatures now take more damage from explosive damage. Cave worms, scorpions, and crocodiles. Additionally, the scorpion, land shark, and sandworm bosses take increased damage. The scorpion boss takes further increased damage if it is in hardened state. So we're looking at more additional damage for explosives on all these the bosses, the scorpion, land shark and sandworm and oh look and they up the grenade damage again <laughs> maybe that's why it's so op they did it twice and you can't pick up your ballistic arrows after a kill cam so in the fix section this week they updated warm and cozy description to match its current effects looks like they fixed some bugs and some crashes and they fixed reloading a completed mission causing mission to restart and the future content section this week remerged outside tooltip to ensure it's not shown in the current build Looks like they're working on the destruction sound of vases. Update brambles to show the required sickle icon when attempting to harvest. Brambles? Looks like they added roots and vines to the swamp transition cave. And they're working on the fishing animation. First pass on cleanup of atmosphere controller blueprint. Still lots to do and functionalize to further clean up. The atmosphere controller blueprint. I wonder what that is. Added assets for a large version of the T4 Aquarium. Looks like we might have deer variants in the future. Looks like you're going to have a lost dynamic quest. And a carbon fiber shield. The large aquarium model and setup. Some bestiary lore. 
at least your lure is going to automatically reset after you throw it on land. Added montages for once you've caught the fish but not implemented yet. And they're adding a fishing minigame widget. Looks like we might have a woolly zebra. And they updated the in-game names for Predator Bird and Rock Dog. And that's it for this changelog. And thank you so much to our YouTube members, Sandy, Wolfie, Sergio, and KHX. Thank you so much for being thank Late Night Crews, which allows you access to the exclusive member-only section of our YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much. We greatly appreciate it. You guys know that we stream? Well, not this week. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to stream this week. Uh, we are going to have to be going to a funeral this weekend, and we're just going to go ahead and call it this weekend. We're not going to stream. But next weekend, we will be back to our 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday and Saturday streams. So, hope to see you then. And guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget, it. if you like what you see, to like the video and comment down below what your favorite part of this week's update was. And please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already we'd be grateful and hopefully we'll see you next time we have two visitors for dinner peace <laughs> oh, I'll be both.